finally, the tech doc section of Formwork Pro. Now we're actually going to look at it. And this is, this is, in my opinion, really, really cool. And it's also like the technically most interesting part of Formwork, which probably is not relevant to you, but which was relevant to me. So if you're on your, on your dashboard and you actually have Formwork Pro, you navigate to the Tech Talk section by clicking Tech Talk here or Tech Talk there. Let's click it. And you can actually see now this is product specific. Your tech doc is product specific in general. So you don't create a technical documentation for your company, but you create it each time for different products of your company. Now we created this product, which is for demonstration purposes called Apple Watch. We are not the manufacturer of the Apple Watch, but uh, we call this product like this. And on the left side, you can actually see pretty much all the like items of the tech doc standards which are relevant. So we have the 62304, which is about documenting software stuff, so software requirements and software tests, for example. Then you have the 4971, which is the risk management standard, so that's yellow, with like risk entries in the risk table. And finally, you have the usability stuff, the 62366, which we call user tests and user test runs here in green. Now, I'll get into those things in a bit. I think, and I won't go into every of these items specifically because it will take forever. I will mainly talk about the interesting parts and with those you hopefully have understood all the less interesting parts too. Let's look at the software requirements. So software requirements are something you have to create for your 6304 compliance. Now, the typical question is like, oh my God, can't you like just use user stories for this? Um, no, you can't you need to create an absolute specification of your software. So the specification shouldn't be something like, as a user, I can do that, and as a user, I can do whatever, because often in user stories, you tend to only describe changes. Something like, as a user, well, as a user, I can click on a button and it doesn't crash, or so that's a pretty bad specification. Instead, the specification should more be like, well, you have a login screen, the login screen has these three buttons, if you click a certain button, then this happens, blah, 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 and it should describe your software as it is in a certain point in time when you release it. So this is very, very important. That also means that you usually can't reuse your user stories or whatever you have in crappy systems like Jira or good systems like GitHub or GitLab. Instead, you have to create this separately. This is just kind of like one of the regulatory overhead things which happen to you. Now, looking at these software requirements, we created some sample requirements here, and some of them are like slightly ridiculous, but I hope you get the idea. So one software requirement could be you have a machine learning model for COVID diagnosis. Another software requirement is like your UI is green, but also something like you should send a crash report to, something, to somewhere if it crashes. Let's create a new software requirement here, actually. And this is something, in my opinion, where Formwork is extremely cool because it just like gives you all these fields. And if you fill them out properly, you already have a high chance of your documentation being complete. So this is much better than filling out an Excel spreadsheet where you simply just don't know what you should be doing next and whether your documentation is complete. So for the categories, we actually have the six to three or four categories here. So there's literally nothing you can do wrong if you select one of those. Well, except if you select like really the wrong one, but seems kind of hard. And let's maybe say, oh, we have like the security requirement of, I don't know, or maybe data requirement, like something like um, data is saved to database properly. It's a ridiculous requirement, but all of them are ridiculous. And here we could describe it. You could attach files as always, so that's very unspectacular. But a very interesting thing here is you can actually link it to things. You can link it to stakeholder requirements, failure modes, and software tests. And I won't go into all of these, but the most relevant part is, for example, each software requirement needs to be covered by at least one software test. And you have this whole M2N relationship going on, right? So because one software requirement could be covered by multiple tests, but one test could also cover multiple software requirements. So if you do this in a spreadsheet, this tends to be a gigantic catastrophe, and I've seen it at lots of customers already, which is very, very sad. Formwork does this slightly better. Slightly better is, is an understatement. It does this like orders of magnitude better. You can simply select the software tests which, which test this. And we actually have four software tests which we can select from. So let's actually take, uh, I don't know, run through the UI or so. Is, maybe that covers it. Save it. 
and there you go. You have like your new software requirement. Of course, it's automatically numbered with a unique ID and everything. So that's that's really, really cool. You can have a look at it. And it actually links it to the software test. We could like have a look at the software test right now, but we're actually not going to do that. We'll do that maybe later. Now, one thing which I really wanted to show you is how to link stuff to other stuff. That's what we just did. We just linked the software requirement to a software test. And that's really, really cool. We could have linked it to multiple software tests really easily, much easier than with spreadsheets. Now, in my opinion, the huge killer feature of Formwork is that all of these things are versioned. Other software, other regulatory software also does this, but in my opinion, does it in a less elegant and less user-intuitive way. What do I mean by that? Now, on the left side, you can actually see this is version 0.2.0 of uh, the Apple Watch of our product. And it's a draft release, so we're editing it right now. But the interesting thing is, like, well, the, the interesting, the, the painful thing is, from a regulatory perspective, you need to keep this list around also for old releases. So an auditor could kind of like ask you, what were the software requirements for version 0.1.0? And if you would be doing this in spreadsheets, this would be a gigantic mess because you would have to like copy your software requirements spreadsheet each time you release a new version. And of course, archive the old spreadsheet. So you would have a spreadsheet for version 0.1.0, you would have a spreadsheet for version 0.2.0, and so on and so on. So you have this gigantic bunch of spreadsheets and you wouldn't even know what changed in between them. So this is super painful. This is something which Formwork does really, really well. So you can actually see, oh, check it out. We actually have an older release, 0.1.0. Select the release, go back to software requirements, and you can actually see the software requirements at this point in time. So this is a bit like Git, but very user friendly. <laughs> now, you can actually see, and of course these requirements also contain the content which they contained at the time. Um, how do we know that? You can actually see if we open this requirement, requirement one, you can actually see the change history at the bottom. So you can actually see, okay, version 0.1.0, in that version it was actually added. Now in version 0.2.0, it was modified. So that's also cool because Formwork keeps track of which requirements were modified in which versions. And we might already like notice that it was modified because you see like an, an excerpt of the description here, which contains certain stuff, whereas the description here is empty, right? So I can just go to version 0.2.0 and you can actually see, well, yep, this is the newer one. It contains like a description and it was modified. So this, in my opinion, is really, really cool. You get this version stuff um, in Formwork and it's just like built in, your data doesn't get lost, you can retrieve data anytime for old versions and you don't have this huge mess of copy pasting stuff like if you would be doing stuff in spreadsheets. All right, next we'll look at some more pretty cool features. We'll look at like traceability, risk management, and also like maybe certain things which automate us as consultants away, which in my opinion are super exciting.